Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing lunch idea number two, which includes a side, a sweet treat and a main. So I'm going to go ahead and get a bowl for the main. Now today I'm going to be making one of my homemade salads. So the first thing I'm going to be adding is I'm going to start off by adding um, a few slices of lettuce. Now I'm not a huge fan of lettuce, so I'm only adding a little bit into this bowl. But I'm not a huge fan, so I don't want too much. So I got just the right amount for me. Then I'm going to be adding some slices of ham into this salad. Ham goes really well in salad, so I'm, I'm, so if you enjoy ham in salads, please um, try it. It's really good. So now we've got our ham laid down. I'm now going to add some sweet corn. And now this is a really easy salad, so it doesn't require too much washing up. Oops. Right, so now we've got our sweet corn in. I'm now going to be adding some halves of tomatoes. Now I'm going to add some cucumber in, but at the minute it's just one big log, so I'm going to be cutting this cucumber or slicing it. So I'm going to first slice it in half and then I'm going to slice it in half again and then I'm going to slice it, well try and slice it in half again. And I'm going to get those two bits together and cut them into smaller bits. I'm going to do the same with each slice. This one seems to have gone extremely thin, but never mind. And this one seems to have gone extremely thick. I'm not the best cucumber cutter, but you know, it's better than nothing. Okay, so there we have our cucumber all sliced up. I'm now going to go ahead and add this to the bowl. Now, the next thing I'm going to be adding to is just some grated cheese. Now, this is medium cheddar because that's basically the only cheese that I'll eat. So, I'm going to add this onto the salad. There's quite a lot of cheese here, but you know, I'm a big fan of cheese on salads. I'm just a big fan of cheese anyway. Usually, if I have pasta, I will not eat it without cheese. Obviously, if it's tuna, I will, but otherwise, if it's tomato or cheese and sweet corn, I have some cheese. And the last thing I'm going to be adding onto this salad is a few squirts of ketchup. Now you don't, uh, not ketchup, salad cream. But you don't have to have salad cream, you can have ketchup, mustard, mayo, any sauce would do, but I like salad cream. And that's basically the only one that goes with a salad for me. Except maybe um, ketchup. Now I'm now just going to go ahead and get a spoon because that seems to be, no, a fork. That seriously, it needs to be mixed in. So what I'm just going to do is this, and it looks delicious looking already. So that looks pretty nice. So that looks like a lovely salad. Okay. Now I'm just going to pop the main dish to a side and get on with the side. So. Um, I'm started off with some green grapes at the bottom of this yellow bowl and all I'm going to do to it is add this strawberry yoghurt on top. Now I better get a spoon for it. Now this is a really easy thing to do, it doesn't require much equipment, it just requires a bowl, a spoon, some grapes and a yoghurt. I went with strawberry yoghurt. Now you might have seen that I do um, yoghurt and fruit a lot and I just love the combination so that's why I do it a lot. But yeah, it, in my all of my videos so far I think I've done a yoghurt except the introduction. I think in one video I've done apple with yoghurt and then in another video I did banana with yoghurt. 
But I just love fruit and yogurt mixed together. I try to have it at least three times a week. Or even more if I can. If I'm able to. And this is a Petit Foolies yogurt. And it is in a strawberry flavour. And I think we got these from Tesco's, but you could also get them from Sainsbury's, Aldi, anywhere really. And then the rest you might just want to eat. Okay, now we've got our side done with our main. I am now going to move on to the sweet treat and there is also a drink which I forgot to tell you at the start. Now for our sweet treat today I'm going with a, a, velvet, a mini velvet cake bar. Now I've never actually tried these before but they look really delicious. Now they only came out yesterday my mum says at um, I think it was Tesco's so they look pretty nice but I think they're they're also like these other things that you can get, which are exactly like those. They are these squares. Now you can get these squares in all flavours, salted caramel, chocolate fudge brownie, lemon drizzle. And I think my mum said you could get them in cinnamon as well. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. But today we're going with the red velvet cake bar. Now... This is what the packaging looks like and it looks pretty delicious. So now we've got our salad outside and our treat. I'm going to tell you what the drink is today. Um, obviously I've got my water bottle but I've also got one of these Capri Suns in the orange flavour. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And I shall see you next time. Bye.